yourself now in the tiny shoes of an eight-year-old boy. What would your dream job be? Of course, it may have to involve toys. And for eight-year-old James Child, it's a dream come true. He's just become a toy tester for Ben 10 Toys. Now, Ben 10, in case you didn't know, is an American cartoon about a boy who uses a device to turn into different aliens. So there's an ever-expanding range of alien toys. James landed the job after he won a poetry competition by the manufacturer. I asked James's dad, Wayne, how long it took for the son to write the poem. It took him ages, ages and ages and ages and ages. And whose idea was it that he should enter the competition? He actually enters quite a few competitions. And he really does enjoy writing little poems and yeah, writing, poems. writing little stories. And he loves loves drawing. And that's why he added some pictures and things to the poem that he sent in. Oh, what kind of pictures were on it? Um, ben 10 pictures. So he was already familiar with the toys? Yes, yes. I mean, he's got a massive collection already. So he, they, they couldn't have chosen a better person to ask for our ideas for, for future toys. Does he, does he already have some ideas? Yes, he's got how they should be able to move and the figures that they haven't released so far and the ones that they should release for the the future. What do you think that shows in your young son? What kind of skills is he developing? His artistic skills are are very good. Um, Because he suffers with dyslexia, it's helping him immensely with his self-confidence. And obviously, with his speech and things, obviously, over the next year, I'm sure it's going to come on in leaps and bounds because he really is practicing a lot before we send his reviews off. And are you worried about the pressures that could could come with the, a kind of job like this? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, he's in a fortunate position where he actually does homeschool. So rather than maybe it's a little bit unconventional kind of speech therapy, but it, it seems to work for him because he doesn't get bored or tired practicing doing it because he actually is, has a genuine interest in doing it. And it's quite interesting for the imagination, isn't it? This uh, because it's a boy who uses a device to turn into different aliens. It sort of it really must develop the imagination. Yes, yes. So I think that's where his artistic skills all have sort of fled off in a new new direction because he loves drawing like different types of aliens and creatures and things like that. So, well, congratulations. Could I speak to James? Of course you can. Okay. James, I must ask you for a, a secret from you. Mm-hmm. Do you like aliens more than you like people? No. You must be looking forward to this job, though. Yeah. Are you going to work really hard? Yeah. And what do you like best about it? Because your dad told me that you also like drawing as well as writing. What's the most interesting part for you? Uh, The drawing part. The drawing part. So you like drawing those aliens. Yeah. Congratulations. Is there anything you want to say to other children who might be listening around the world? Play with Ben Ben toys. And that you have uh, the little James uh, child who got a dream come true as he lands a job as the toy tester.